guys, Tori back for another video, and today we are learning what are the levels of a food chain grade falls to the standards of grade five through six, and it's science. Um, before I get started, I'd just like to give a quick shout out to Jasmine Danny for those kind and amazing words that support this channel and make this channel go farther and farther by the minute. Now, hold up right there. Before you keep watching this video, I would just like to say that my new series called Shadow Wall is premiering tomorrow, Sunday, and it's premiering every Sunday on this channel. I don't know how long, but it's the first episode, so you guys definitely should go and check it out. Also, a disclaimer, today I'm not in a quiet environment, my birds are, like, literally really close to me, so I'm so sorry if they're talking so loud, and if I'm trying to talk over them, I'm so sorry for the quality of this video, but anyways, let's get to it. Okay, so our essential question is what are our levels of a food chain? And let's get to it. So, food chain have quite a bit of levels. Example, here's your grass, grass, rabbit, fox, snake, and soil. So, the levels are not those. The levels are, ugh, oh my god, why can't I talk today? The levels are the bottoms, the grays, what I roll in gray. So, our first, the grass that makes its own food is its producer. It's the producer that makes its own food. Not anything else in the food web, food chain, do not make their own food, except for the producers, and that's why they're named producers. Also, if you guys want a part two and three about what are food chains and food webs, let me know. I'll do those for y'all. And then the rabbit, which eats the grass. So the grass gives its energy to the rabbit, which is the primary consumer. The primary consumer is what eats the producer, that producer. Then the rabbit gives it energy to the fox which is a secondary consumer and that is where the primary consumer gives energy to the secondary consumer so the secondary consumer and beyond is what it's getting eaten and then we have the snake which is a lot of you might think it's a third dairy consumer but no it's a tertiary consumer which eats the secondary consumer which the secondary consumer eats the primary consumer which the primary consumer eats the producer and then whenever the snake passes away, we get to our decomposer, which is soil. So when snakes pass away, the, the atmosphere of Earth it takes it and the snake goes back on Earth and the soil. So that's the last result energy that is soil. So that's our decomposer. Now, in the order of the levels, our, the levels I just said, um, there could be more primary consumers. There could be more secondary, more tertiary, more decomposers. And that's all not in a food chain that's all in a food web because there's different ways sorry again for the background noise <laughs> so the order of the levels are producer primary consumer secondary consumer tertiary consumer and decomposer all these are pretty much the food chain that's how they make up the food chain and all the energies that work with it then here i have a little practice for you <laughs> so it says follow the directions but name all the levels in order and leave it in the comments down below up here Guys, I'm giving you today the cheat sheet. The cheat sheet. So, take that cheat sheet. It sounds like I'm just saying cheat sheet. Cheat sheet. I don't know. I'm saying cheat sheet. A uh, cheat sheet. Yeah, whatever. And, yeah. So, that's pretty much it. And, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Subscribe and all that cool stuff. Um... Yeah, pretty much all that cool stuff. Yeah. Subscribe, comment down below the answers. And...